All right, so we have very, very little time, so I'm going to be super fast. Why do we even test? So basically, well, the first thing I thought was, let's ask. OK, it doesn't want to be. Let's ask Copilot. And so basically, that's what it told me. That's not very helpful, yeah. Anyway, so the, um, the idea is I'm Bart Ledoux. I, um, I was born in France, but now I live in Chicago. And I work at Cyprus. That's enough about me. Who here, like raise your hand if you know what those three letters mean. That's what I expected. Test-driven development. But who here actually practices it for real? Yeah, don't worry. You're, you're, you know, you don't, your manager won't know about it. Anyway, you know, be reassured. You are not alone. While we were preparing for Cypress component testing, which is the last, uh, we, which comes up with Cypress 10, we asked a lot of very successful front-end devs what they, uh, what they thought about testing, how they thought about testing. And most of them were answering the same way. Well, I should do more testing. And I actually asked you know, a, few of them, a, few, a few of you today the, that same question. And well, most of you are actually telling me exactly this. Or even better, some people actually say, oh, I should use TDD. Well, then why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? I was asking myself this exact question. Why don't we do actual TDD? And well, basically, I had to come back all the way to the ancient times where computers had only a terminal, and most of the front-end thing was an afterthought. And so all the testing was invented with back-end in mind. Are some of you old enough to remember that logo? I don't know. Anyway, I am. Sorry about that. Point is, when we had applications that were, whose front-end was compiled, the whole time it took for a front-end change to take effect, or for any change to take effect, was the compile time, which was about two or three minutes if you had a fast computer. You go get, get a coffee, talk to a few friends, etc. come back, and then you can start testing. And then you can start seeing your changes. So testing was essential for that. And that's how TDD came about. TDD was meant to the first value of testing, reducing the feedback loop. So you want, between a change that you make and a change that you see, as little time as possible so that each change has a little cost, because time is money. Now, is it that relevant for us front-end developers? Now that we have HMR, now that we have Storybook, um, Nuxt, Vite, and you know, even like Histoire that is coming up uh, pretty soon, you know, you can start, always start using it, but it's a bit if he will see about this. Um, anyway, point is, HMR brings the feedback loop super short. So do we really need to make it shorter? Well, we probably don't, but testing has a lot of other virtues. One being, well, let's suppose for, for a second, I just gave you an excuse not to do TDDs, so I'm guessing that's worth something. Anyway, the second value of testing is obvious. Trust. Now you can trust your, the code that you put out, and you can trust that it's not breaking anything that you did not change, so, or did you did not intend to change. So that's kind of a first good value, but that's obvious. It helps you, of course, you know, get, respected, get respect from your boss and your teammates and all that, so that's cool. Um, then the second value, the third value is architecture. So, uh, you know, basically, if it ain't testable, it ain't scalable. So basically what you have is, if you have a big component like this calendar, and you find yourself reaching down to test it inside the internals, that really is a good sign to start refactoring, to start splitting this component into multiple parts, because then you can actually test the behaviors in the proper way. And that's kind of the idea of why testing helps you architects better. It architects for the future, it architects to make your thing simple. And at the same time as it helps you architect those, um, those uh, components, 
it helps you document them. Because think about it, a documentation get, can get out of date. But if you run your, your, um, set your tests on every change you make, you have a guarantee that those tests are passing, if you make sure they're passing, of course. And because those, those tests are actually passing, that means that you can be guaranteed that you can use those components with that, uh, with, with that exact syntax, and they work. So that's the great thing about, um, about testing, is that it gives you all those four values. It reduces the feedback loop, trust, it allows you to trust your code, it improves the architecture of your actual output, and it allows you to document internal components and guarantee that this documentation is up to date. All right, well, I wonder if there is other benefits, so if you know about them, just find me in the room, and yeah. Thank you very much.